So I'll use this in language that a layman can understand a little bit easier. You're Joe Blow. You hear Hex is awesome. You want to buy some, but you don't feel like installing MetaMask. You want to buy it on your normal, you want to put it in your 401k, you want to buy it on your normal broker where you're buying your stonks and whatever else you're used to doing. And so now you're going to see a ticker symbol and that ticker symbol is going to re represent shares and hex. Now why shares and hex instead of just hex? Because hex is this miraculous in invention that pays you yield if you stake it and you have shares. So take Grayscale. Grayscale buys Bitcoin. Do they get yield on their Bitcoin? I don't think they do. I don't think they do. Because in order to get yield, you have to take risk with Bitcoin. You have to give your coins to someone else to lend them out to get that yield and hope that they come back. And oftentimes they do not. And from what I've read of the Grayscale documents, I don't think, I'm rather positive, that they cannot take that risk of lending out those coins and trying to make yield on them. So they just sit there and they hope the price goes up, but they don't earn more Bitcoin. Whereas in Hex, if you lock up your Hex, you're going to, you're going to make more Hex. If you lock a really long time, so like Grayscale, there's no right of redemption. So why wouldn't you lock a long time? You're just going to make more yield. You're going to make more interest, but they can't because it's Bitcoin, but in Hex they could. So, Hey, Grayscale, if you're listening and you want to launch uh, a Hex trust before someone else does get to it. You know, otherwise some lawyers might get rich for no particular reason. So you've already got Grayscale already has. So if Grayscale is like nine products, six are actually OTC traded. And that's the reason that those have, uh, probably the reason they have higher assets under management. So, you know, the ones that aren't OTC traded have in between like 28 and 56 million assets under management. They've got three rather 30 billion in their Bitcoin trust. And they've got, uh, I think 20 billion in their Ethereum trust and maybe like 127 in their, um, biggest other trusts like Bitcoin cash and whatever else. They've got like in between 127 and 150 in those other OTC listed ones. So it's like the difference between all of those products and hacks is that with hacks, you get paid for longer stakes. And since they don't have a right of redemption, which would force them to sell like, Oh, someone bought shares of GPTC and now they want to turn those shares into Bitcoin so that they can send to sell the Bitcoin that is not allowed. You can buy your shares and sell your shares, but you can't turn your shares into Bitcoin. 